Since 2004, NATO has brought together 26 countries from Europe and North America. Established in 1949, NATO's mission is the defense and security of its members. It offers allies a forum for consultation and cooperation on defense and security, and promotes cooperation with non-member countries. The Allies uphold the shared values of democracy, solidarity, human rights and the rule of law. NATO is an intergovernmental organization of sovereign member states. Decisions in NATO are always taken by consensus. NATO is made up of different bodies with a view to maintaining optimum effectiveness and adaptability in its operations and missions. NATO's supreme decision-making body is the North Atlantic Council. It's made up of the permanent representatives of all the Allies and can also meet at the level of foreign ministers and defense ministers. At summit meetings, the North Atlantic Council brings together the heads of state and government. The North Atlantic Council's decisions express the Allies' solidarity and shared resolve to take action. NATO also has two strategic commands, Allied Command Operations, ACO, based at SHAPE in Mons in Belgium, is responsible for the planning and overall direction of all Alliance operations. Allied Command Transformation, based in the United States, looks at how the Alliance can adapt its military structures and working practices to keep pace with the changing strategic environment. These two commands also strive to reduce the risks to men and women in the field, civilian and military. Three headquarters are in charge of operational implementation. The first is in the Netherlands and is currently leading the ISAF operations in Afghanistan. The second, in Italy, leads alliance operations and missions in the Balkans, the Mediterranean and Iraq. The third is in Portugal and led the operations to assist the African Union in Darfur. Before deciding on an operation, be it in Afghanistan, the Balkans or elsewhere, the North Atlantic Council turns to the Military Committee, in which Allied countries' military representatives provide advice and recommendations. An operational plan is developed based on consensus and is implemented by the strategic commands. The plan spells out the feasibility, risks and potential solutions for the operation. It also assesses the human and financial resources that the member countries will make available to NATO for the operation. The Alliance does not actually have its own armed forces. The Allies then decide unanimously in the Council whether to adopt the proposed military plan. Once adopted, it's kept under regular review and can be adapted as the mission evolves.